a wicked messenger forced into ruin, but a faithful ambassador is heard. Proverbs 13, verse 22. Jesus came here as God's ambassador. In John chapter 12 and verse 45, Jesus said, He that sees me sees God. He was the last bus stop that everyone looking for God needs to see and be free. In John 14 and verse 9, Jesus said, He that hath seen me has seen the Father. So to see Jesus was to see the Father. That means every need that God could meet, Jesus was sent to meet the same needs. You didn't have to see Jesus then and still keep looking for God. Nobody had to see Jesus Christ and still be praying, God, where are you? No. Now, as God's sons and daughters, we have been sent to manifest God upon earth for all to see. I am sent, as Jesus was sent, to showcase God for all humanity to see. As he is, so am I in this world. He says, ye are of God, little children, and have overcome them. For greater is he who is in you than he who is in the world. Every work of God that must be done on the earth today must be done by God's sons and daughters. That's why he says in John 13, verse 20, He that receives you receives me. And he that receives me receives the Father who sent me. So to receive God or to receive any blessing from God, receive his same messengers. A faithful ambassador is served. And such as we have, we give to those who are sick. That's why he said, go, heal the sick, cast out devils, raise the dead, cleanse the lepers, go and do all I have done, and do more than I have done. So our sermon is simple, to showcase God upon the earth for all to see. Listen, nobody needs to see me and continue to pray to God. That is an error. The reason why I'm here is for people to have all their needs met by my being here, through my Father who is in me right now. Jesus said in John chapter 14 and verse 10, John chapter number 14 and verse 10, Believe first thou know that I am in the Father. Look at that. I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Don't you believe that? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwells in me right now, he doeth the works. So Jesus could come to where Lazarus was dead and buried and had been in the grave for four days, just like Adam in Eden, Adam on the dust, on the ground. Right? And Jesus said, Lazarus comfort, and he that was dead, decomposing came out, completely made whole. Completely made whole. The Father that dwelt in Christ restored Lazarus back to life. Jesus said, The hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and all that shall hear shall live. John 5 25. You can be free from sickness. That's why I'm here. The Lord sent me to stop anything after man's destruction, to tell you the good news that you don't have to suffer again. He sent me to bring healing, liberty, and Restoration to all. When I say you are here, that's the last day you will ever be sick. Now as you are hearing me, as your amen will show you believe it, you are healed now. From your head to your toes, every sickness in any part of you is removed right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today is the last day you will ever be sick. Sickness is not from God. It's of the devil. And Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. And he said, it is finished. How dare any devil put on you what Christ took away from you. Every transgressor is cursed. I destroy every enemy afflicting you with sickness or disease right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. A faithful ambassador, representative and messenger brings health, health and healing because he's health. A faithful ambassador is health and he brings healing and health to the people. I am sent to bring healing. You can't hear me, I'm sick. He said to me, raise, build, and plant them as Christ's ambassadors on his living mission everywhere and restore all things at all costs and by all means according to the heavenly pattern. There's a pattern for man, that is Jesus Christ. As he is, so are we. So whatever is not in Christ that is in you is removed right now. Anything that is in you that's not in Christ, I remove it right now. I mean right now. As you are hearing my voice, whatever is not in Christ 
that is in you is removed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Raise them, build them, and plant them as Christ's ambassadors on his living mission everywhere. You must be empowered to live like Christ. I release that power to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, that power to function like Christ, where you are reigning and ruling over the devil, over principalities and powers, over every rule of the darkness of this world, and over every wicked, diabolic, or diabolical spirits in heavenly places. Reign over them. Dominate over them all right now. And from now on, in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus said, the Father that dwells in me, he does the works. We are complete in him. The fullness of the Godhead, which Christ embodied, we have been given. Why must you live unlike God? That era is over in your life forever. Live and not die. Manifest Zoe, God's divine nature. Manifest the incorruptible nature of God. Manifest the divine life. Manifest immortality from now. Every sickness in you is erased and wiped away. Cursed and removed. I decree restoration of health, life, strength and vigor. Eternal life. Everlasting life in your system. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every corruption in you is removed. Everything devastating and destroying your life is hereby declared removed. You are free. Live and showcase God to all where you are. In Jesus' precious name, amen, peace.